Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. I don't know where you are in the world, but uh, how the devil are you? I just thought I'd comment on the um, apology, the very full and magnanimous apology issued by John Pasuto. Uh, and I, I, I graciously accept um, such an apology. I think it's such a fantastic step for Australian women to know that today, more than yesterday, they were a little safer in speaking about the unthinkable things that are happening to them in the name of progress throughout Australia. Uh, we're talking about access to single sex spaces uh, like toilets and changing rooms. We're talking about wanting to speak up about the mutilation of children, about the eradication of their sexual function, about the gaslighting uh, and silencing and intimidation of women right across Australia. And I think what this apology will do is it will give women just just a, a morsel of um, comfort that actually they do have a right to speak about this quasi-religious authoritarian cult known as transgenderism, otherwise known as gender identity, progressive politics, LGBT, however you want to call it, whatever government fund is, is pouring into this. Uh, fetish to enable men to have unfettered access to women's spaces, rights, language, and the bodies of children. And let's not forget, this is this is state backed. Australia is in a really terrible state, which is why we did let women speak in the first place. Lesbians can't even gather in Australia without men. It's so regressive; it's unbearable. Um, but what this apology has done today and and the fullness of the apology and the um, assertion that it's right and proper that women in Australia uh, can speak about their fears, that this quasi-religious cult actually brings, um, that the Liberal Party and John Pasuto himself recognised uh, the need to speak about violence against women and girls and so on. Uh, that's just a magnificent step forward. You know, we we came to Australia, we did a tour as Let Women Speak, and we definitely, which I suspect is why nobody wants us to speak, but we definitely changed the landscape of what could and could be talked about in Australia. I'm really, really proud of that. And I'm so extraordinarily proud of the speeches and the women that came bravely, courageously came out and spoke right across Australia. And if you've ever heard of anything to do with Let Women Speak Melbourne and you haven't listened to the women speaking, then I implore you to go and listen to their speeches because they are nothing short of incredible. With John Pasuto's magnanimous apology which like I said I'm so grateful for in Australia now it is a little safer to let women speak uh, I want to thank Bridie and Catherine at uh, Alexander Rashidi Lawyers who have been just magnificent uh, throughout this time working on this case um, it was it was a pleasure to work with both of them um, and just one final thank you again to, to John Pasuto um, for his full and, and magnanimous apology. Uh, and to all the women in Australia, I hope you feel just a little bit more secure that whilst your government is intent on destroying every single morsel of progress that women have ever made in your country, and they are seeking to destruct the bodies of healthy children, that you are a little bit safer in raising your complaint and objection about this. Um, and I wish you all the love and luck in the world. Thank you so much.